Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. Today is going to be a little bit different. We are not going to get into any projects here in the shop, but we're going to reminisce just a little bit. What I thought would be fun and interesting would be to go back over the last two and a half months and think about all the projects that I have done, the things that I've learned, the mistakes that I've made, and show you guys my journey from start to present day. It has been almost three months since I got my X-Carve and I have completed near 100 different carves, most of them successful, some of them not successful. We've only broken one bit and we've had a few close calls, but thankfully everything is still running, operating normally. I have done some routine maintenance on my machine a few different times and it's still running strong. I've done quite a scope of varying projects working with numerous different materials including MDF, walnut, oak, different plywoods, I've worked with acrylic, ABS, I've worked with vinyl record, I have worked with aluminum dog tags, and it has been a wonderful journey to see my progress not only as, I guess you could say a machinist, a carver, a CNC guy and just see that side of my person develop and there's so much more to the x carve than i'm able to give it credit for because my skills are still growing and they will continue to grow for hopefully many many more months to come but i thought i would take some time today and show you where we started and then where we've gotten to today with a little compilation of all of the different items we have carved the first cut has been made, y'all. And, and yeah, I just had to do it. But it did it. We didn't break anything. Hallelujah. I still got to figure out how the Z probe works and everything else. But we made a cut. It did its thing. And we didn't break anything. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Woo.
think probably the most important thing that I've learned over the last few months of working with the X-Carve CNC machine is you just got to keep doing it. You got to do it over and over and over again. Easel will frustrate you. The machine will frustrate you. What you have in your head to try and create is not going to work. And then you're just going to be so utterly frustrated. You're going to want to give up and start with a laser or just give up creativity altogether. Keep going. Keep persisting. You can still create some amazing projects. It's just going to take a little bit of time for you to perfect that skill. So... My challenge to you is to keep carving, keep building, keep being creative, and just hold on. It will get better. You will become more skillful in this area, and it's going to be okay. Just keep doing it a little bit longer. The thing that I committed to was to carve something every single day. Now, have I been able to do that perfectly for the last 80 days or so? No. But I have been able to maintain that for majority of the time, 90% of the time, and so I have completed over a hundred projects, and just being in the software, being with your machine, seeing how it works, challenging yourself, you will get better, it will be easier, your carves go faster, you become more skilled, and it's going to be worth it. Thank you so much for joining in, it has been an extremely fun process, most of the time, learning this machine, learning this new skill and this process, sharing it with friends and family, with you guys online, and getting ideas about what to try, what to do next, and a project that you would like to see. So thanks for joining in. I'm looking forward to many, many more carves in the future. So stay tuned for some exciting projects, and I'll catch you guys next time.